Hey Wayne, it's Don W6GPS, and uh, you showed me something I wanted our crowd, our audience to, uh, to look at as a possibility for mounting an antenna on some of those impossible installs. So what do you got here, brother? Yes, sir. What we have, it's an HRKS mount. It's an adhesive back. 3M makes it. It's called VHB for very high bond. Has their wing nut adjuster for the difference on if you're putting on back glass on how you're gonna get the antenna straight up and down. The big thing on it is on trucks and on vehicles that you just can't find an install on, you end up putting this on. The only antenna that'll work is our, our halfway, our NR770HA. You have to put it on the lengthwise. After you clean the glass, you're gonna put it on lengthwise. That gives you your full strength. So, so how, e how easy is this, tell me, if, I, if you were just to tell me step by step, just real quick, how do you do that? You're just going to clean the glass real good to get the oil off it. Peel this off, make sure you adjust the height on how high you want to do it. Press it on the car, put it nice on there. Now you're done. Put the antenna, the coax in it, which comes with the mount itself already. So the mount comes with the coax connectors. Okay, so now you've, uh, you've installed it on, you've mounted it on the vehicle. And what's the next thing? What you're gonna do is you'll take on the, the coax assembly we have, we'll, you'll take the weather cap off. This has a double nut. It's a kind of a decorative that covers your main nut. So this comes off, in the old days, you used to use it for adjusting the height on antennas. And a lot of guys will put it under, but now you'll take it off. You'll actually get it inside. Then you can put your, your nut back on to tighten it up. When you get this all the way at the bottom and you tighten it, this one covers that nut and gives a little more surface area for the antenna to get. So when you tighten it up, you won't see the nut underneath. Okay. Then you'll put your antenna on when you're done. You can use your weather cap on there. For the car Cover wash. it up. For the car wash. For the car wash. The coax is an RG316 mil spec Teflon cable. It's the mil spec means that they've already gone through it, swept it. Any bad spots have been cut out. So you're not going to have to worry about that. The, everything's built by us in house. The cable itself uh, will take 700 watts HF. 350 watts VHF, UHF, so it's good cable. It's not gonna, not gonna get damaged on you. And it comes with both SMA and... Uh, comes with the SMA connector on it and a SMA to PL259. SMA we put on for, if all of a sudden your mobile radio breaks, then you take it off, put this on your handheld, you're still in business. You're not, you're not out. So in an emergency, you're not trying to find an adapter your handheld goes right on automatically, the adapter for your radio. Okay, and I know some people are gonna so ask, but does that sticky tape thing really hold the antenna? Get, what's your work, best case you've heard? It, it's, right now, the antenna itself, the HA is the biggest antenna you can put on it. Because it doesn't require ground, we feel it's the only antenna to put on. We've had guys in Alaska, the only issue I've ever had was ice build up in here to where it pushed it off, but that was in Alaska, worst case scenario. He ended up putting a silicone, clear silicone over it just to stop the ice. But other than that, it's the only problem we've ever heard with these popping off of a car. Okay, and as far as I know, this is the only one I've seen in the market. Only, yes, only one on the market. Nobody else has one like it. Good. Anything else? No. What's that website, buddy? Website, diamondantenna.net. Info at diamondantenna.net if you want to email us. If you have any questions, we'll see what we can do.